Welcome to the Invasion Session 11, Part 2. It's the 24th of June, 2020. I am Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. Bo. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Gregor, and I play Adair, who is suffering from one terrible headache right now. What? Hello, my name is Alvin. I'm an Al uh, artificer gnome. And your skull, that too. Yep, that too. But I'm busy eating. Get it? Ah, because we sat there to eat food. Good uh, evening. Uh, My name is Alexander, and tonight I'll be playing Fleabite the Skaven, who's still pretty terrible at everything. Bo. Hello. I'm Calum B, and I'll be playing Thea, the Priestess of Chaos. Bo. So anyway, oh. um, random brand but dundy noises aside, um, let's jump back in to a lovely red-headed lady sitting at a table, smiling with jeweled teeth. Now, Ryan. <laughs> okay, Callum. <laughs> <laughs> I can play that game. <laughs> Rats. He countered me. <laughs> um, can I see if these teeth are any at all similar to <laughs> creepy old witch bitch's teeth? Sure. Roll a perception. Thank you very much. Ooh. Yes, identical. Thea grits her teeth. Mm. I'll drink like the blast. Thea grit, grits Thea's teeth, teeth or just Thea grit? Thea <laughs> grits her teeth. <laughs> um, no, Thea, I think like Thea's like, eyes definitely, you know, darken. Um, Non-magically, just, you know, visually. And, and uh, grits her teeth and she just narrows her eyes and kind of stares at this woman. Mm. So... So why does your son not like you? We mention you at dinner, and then we get no dinner. What has happened between you and boy? Do you feel like waves her hand at you dismissively? It's like, no, no, yeah. my question first. What was the question? Sure, Something about eyes. the red dragon. We hear screaming. Uh, she mentioned about the red dragon egg. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was her, her parting words were like, So, tell me I about the red dragon egg. I'll be like, What's your interest in it? She just looks at you with, like, you've seen this look in the mirror a lot anytime you get an idea. Mm -hmm. You know, eyes full of wonder. Mm -hmm. like, and she just stares oh. at you. Probably quite unnervingly. What do you still tell? What? Sorry, go Scott. Mm, no. What are you planning on using it for? What makes you think I am interested in obtaining it myself? I am merely asking what your interest in this is. She just kind of like grins at everyone. I would just kind of look around and then just like look at look around and then kind of look back at her and go really we don't have like we don't have an interest in it it's your boy who is interested in egg yet here you remain under his servitude is or in his servitude whatever the phrasing would be right <laughs> In service to it's him. It's only been a couple of hours. <laughs> we were to have dinner with King to find out hopefully more information about this egg, but instead we mention you and then we get no dinner. Really? Instead, I was a topic at dinner and she just kind of like laughs to herself and kind of like puts her hand like on her kind of like his chest as if to kind of what like catch so herself. Funny? Why would why would I be a dinner topic when you have so many interesting things 
to ask of my son. I turn and look at Thea. I think she does as well then. Like, as yep. if expecting the answer to somehow be at Thea then, if that's what a dare implies. I think I'd just look at her and be like, well, he's not your son. You, or, well, his mother has passed from this world. So, because I'm dead, that means I'm no longer his mother? Come on. No, it, it, if you're dead, that means you can't be here. Who told you that? Books. Ah. Dead people. Or not dead people. <laughs> dead people <laughs> when they die. Because when dead people die, they don't talk. And you're talking. Therefore, you can't be dead. Or you're just not her. I think she just takes a bit of, like, the top pancake and just lifts it off and then just, like, tears it in half and just starts munching on a bit of it, like, looking up a bit and thinking, hmm. Well, how would you describe your situation, then? Present. And she swallows the piece of pancake in her mouth. And he just grins uh, at you. And, uh... Why would, uh, Victor... Nope. Uh, Rector, be so yep. shocked to hear that you are present. Mm. And she just like makes that noise of mm, and then just grins at you and then just pushes more pancake in her mouth and just mm. starts chewing while kind of smiling at you, open mouthedly. Mm. Well. And she goes, what of the as she, like, she like munches a bit and swallows, and she goes, what do you think? I think you're a dragon. In well, disguise, like, and you want to bring fun. back the... <laughs> well, I think you want to bring back the dragons, um, because you gonna cray-cray in the bring head. Bring them back? And Where did they go? In an egg? Or they got <laughs> extinct? Or, I don't know. Didn't Rector, like, completely smack them down and All be like, of the dragons in one egg. Wouldn't that be something? I mean, I've seen stranger things. I've seen entire people fall out of holes in the sky. And she kind of just like kind of laughs. Just like, huh. I just kind of lean in and go, but really, I just don't trust you. So, I don't know look, why we... She looks up and scrunches up with her nose and her upper lip and she's like, eh, yeah, that, that seems fair. Then please leave. If you're not... If you're going to be cryptic, just get out. I don't have time for this. Wow. For someone so small, you pack in so much rudeness, don't you? I just call it like I see it. But you don't know what you see, so how can you call it accurately? That's the thing with you gnomes. Hmm. Trust me. Gnomes are... I kind of just trail off. Wait, no. This isn't about me. This is about you. And the fact that... I don't know who or what you are and, like, how you are and... And just... What what's what's your interest with with our interest in eggs? Like I said, actually, we don't have an interest in eggs. So furthermore, Len, yeah. Why is it your boy? If he is your son, if you are the mama, why is it he does not know you are here? Why do you not go see him instead of bother us? What yeah, what he said. <laughs> Sorry. She says, what would I want from my son? And she still like finishes the pancake that she was eating. He is one who wants us to go for egg. If you have interest in egg, he has interest in egg. You two deal with egg. You still haven't answered my question. Why are you interested in going for this egg then? You are still here. Because she kind of shrugs. He asked us to. He asked us to do egg. She takes like another pancake and sits in front of her and then she kind of like screws up her face and then stands up and goes to like a cupboard. And just starts raking about in a cupboard and then brings out like a jug of something. 
I thought like, she was going to bring us a carton of eggs. And she like dips her finger into like the jug and then like it lifts it up and it's all kind of gooey. She like, you know, sucks on it. It's like, oh, I'll do. And she kind of comes back and just dumps the uh, the jug down and uh, then just picks up her pancake again and starts dipping it in the jug and eating. It's like honey or something. You seem to be rather hungry for someone who is apparently dead. And she has like, you know, munches away. And she's like, it's just good food. It's rude to pass it up, you could say. Hmm. I did not know that ghosts need to eat. She just grins really widely at that. And she's like, <laughs> I don't know if ghosts need to eat either, actually. I don't think I've met a ghost. Eh, I don't know if I have either. As he gl opens his eyes. She does that thing where she playfully like raises both her eyebrows like twice really quickly um, at you. Um, when you say like I don't know if I have either. <laughs> and then uh, she um, looks over at Thea just to try and gauge Thea's entire being right now. She's still kind of looking at her. Um, and I think maybe while this exchange is going on um, she like stands up and just still looking at her. And she looks up. And she, not hungry. Grins. I think she um, maybe wipes the corner of her mouth and just says my appetite has dwindled. Isn't that unfortunate? And she just kind of goes back to like munching this like honey coated pancake now. So we have told you our interest in egg is only because King asked us to do something with egg. In return, we could get hall of Runestead. This is our right. interest. Right. But what? So he's but want, what is your interest? You want the city. That's why you want hmm. the egg. Okay. I just... See, that's an answer. She kind of just grins at you. As she's grinning, I just kind of shuffle forward a wee bit and be like, Here's a question. Why are there gems in your teeth? And she kind of just like looks at you. And then uh, she like runs her finger over her teeth and then kind of like taps them with her nail. And she's like, Why aren't your teeth gems? Because that's I an impractical it. place for gems. A common accessory for and she motions to the room and says Runestad and she, uh, she smiles goes, not to my knowledge but what can I say I'm a dead ghost apparently and she just looks at everybody that's like accused her of being anything but this woman uh, I'm yes. really fighting the urge to headbutt her <laughs> So Do it. Honestly, I think Thea Wood is the problem. Break your teeth <laughs> out. Uh... Um, well, well, people are thinking about. I'm, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let her talk for a bit more first. <laughs> so these teeth is this what's bring you back from death? She kind of just like screws up her face, and she's like, I mean, they might. And she like starts poking with him with her finger. Is this how you die? You change your teeth to jewels? No, I mean it's... It was quite painful to get it done, but... It's definitely not Be fatal. I mean you try to headbutt her. Well, try, try to yes. attempt. Can I roll a headbutt? Um, I feel like you'd need to like get to her and then you'd want to initiate combat it sounds like butter. you want to roll initiative. That's, ah, but what, that's uh, what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Is what right? I'm hearing is going up to her and whether or not she decides I'm a threat is whether or not we roll initiative. And if she doesn't think I'm a threat, I feel like I get to headbutt her. Surprise with a head roll. It's an interesting Surprise theory. Yes. So what is Thea going to do? And he'll tell you what happens. What's Fleabite doing? Because, I mean, last time Fleabite was like, arm out, touch, 
going for the grill. So this time, Fleabite had a proper think about it, and <laughs> as soon as she like transformed, he he reckoned that there was just a countdown before things went very badly. So before Fleabite was quite happily just tucking into his food, then as soon as she transformed, he went into wolf mode and just started trying to eat everything as fast as he could, <laughs> just shoving all the. Um, like usually he's a bit if he can be he's like selective for meat but now he was just like um chugging down the the stew just um handfuls of pancakes straight into his mouth um, probably like considered taking a swig from that jug of honey um, and I think I if, that, if, we... if that was happening then i think she would have said something akin to you when she was talking to thea and say see at least he's hungry you best be quick if you want to get anything and she just kind of I mean, yeah. I um sorry, I think Thea imagines headbutting this woman. Boo shape bag. <laughs> <laughs> and um was and there anything, then sorry, was there anything else that, was there anything else Fleabite had wanted to do? Because he was referenced. Sorry. We mostly got him to talk about what had happened. But is there anything else that Fleabite was currently um, or just keep consuming? As long as there's still food he is consuming, but he does look agitated and like he's clearly trying to eat all the food. Okay, yeah, cool. Um sorry, Thea, go for it. Um and she does walk up to her. So you stand up and what oh sorry, you're standing up already, so you She's standing up, so she takes so that step. You walk around her. the table, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, so you walk around the table and I think she just kinda like, you know, after like maybe she just finished the last part of her like her honey uh, dipped pancake, and she just looks up at you. Um, I think I think the is just like kind of sizes her up and her her mind kind of looks her up and down. I think she just stands up then as you look her up and down, and she stands like you know, right in front of you and she goes, "Is this a better view?" And she just smirks. I think I imagine she's quite a bit taller than me as well. I don't actually know what, what height's Thea. Um, five three. Yeah, like not that much. She's maybe about five eleven, maybe five ten. Okay, yeah, yeah. So like a decent amount, like almost a head. Um, yeah, she kind of looks up at her. It's just her hair makes her look taller because it's all like kind of bushy. Yeah. And um, I do have a picture of her though. She is here somewhere. Uh, two seconds, because I remember putting her on here. I've shown people a picture of her before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where did she go? Let me have a look. She's, defi she's definitely in the uh, NPC list. Maybe that's what it is, and it's not on here. It's in the uh, NPC list. Yeah. Um, like, I'm pretty sure she's like the first one on it, actually. No, that's mine. Uh, I'll add her yeah. There. Yeah, she's just um, below Von Rune. Yeah, um... Two seconds. Okay, um, it's not letting me copy it into Discord. Nah, but... it doesn't do that. Um, it's quite fussy that way. Yeah. Cunt. <laughs> it's okay, I'll, um... I'll see what I can do. She definitely doesn't look old enough to be a mama. She's had work done, we know that from the teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's, um... This one, right? Do yes. Yeah. Why, hello, pretty lady. The, the one titled Cynthia Von Rune, funny in the era. Right, right. <laughs> um, um, see, I'm looking through my art collection. <laughs> there we go. I'll pop that in there. And I'll do it there. And then I will show it to players whenever my mouse decides to work with Rule 20. And this mouse has been weird with Roll20, or is it just... My mouse um, has been quite funky with Roll20. I don't know if my mouse has just been funky in general, though. I don't know. But, um, it's I had been... difficulty moving my uh, token there we go. on earlier, because it just kept highlighting stuff instead of clicking and dragging. Dragons? Where? Ah. Only dragon egg. So, yeah. Weirdly, I thought this would somehow give us a better indication of our height, but it doesn't. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I think um, Thea looks at her and um, 
I think she just says... Well, you've... Aged well. She just kind of like, really just like smiles. Um, like her smirk just goes into like a full-blown smile. Um, and she says, Have I now? For a dead ghost. Yeah. You've aged very well in the past. And then she, I guess, states however many hours slash cycles it's been since she got headbutted. Take 2d10 damage for mentioning cycles. Oh, okay. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. What? Yeah, what? I'm still alive. <laughs> for now. It's all good. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. Why did they take two? Because Callum decided for some bizarre reason in his game that the method of timekeeping was cycles. And I just was like, no, please. Let's not complicate the game any further. <laughs> yes. So, she kind of just stands there smiling. She goes, It's quite rude to ask a lady her age, but, you know. I'll let it slide because you're clearly hungry. And then she kind of like walks back and then kind of like goes through one of the cupboards again. Why do you want us to eat this food so badly? And she kind of like looks over her shoulder and looks at you like with a bit of a confusing cause You said dinner was interrupted, so you haven't eaten. This is true, and but. And she kind of like shrugs because so I made you food. Normally it's customary to thank your cook. Of course we thank you. It's uh, very nice uh, Don't speak for of everyone. you to make so much. She kind of like oh, shakes her head and then she kind of like pulls out some stuff from the cupboard again. How much of the food has Fleabite consumed by this point? Probably about half. <laughs> yeah. The problem as well is it's also quite like what starchy, right? And you know, carb heavy, so flu is going to be bloated. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she just seems to be pottering around um, in the kitchen as, as maybe Thea's just left standing there. Yeah, um, I think Thea's. I think she's maybe, maybe her eyes are welling up slightly a bit again. Uh, and she's just looking at her, lo looking at her, pottering around, fists clenched. Um, uh, and she's like, maybe quite quietly, actually, just says, "Why, why did you have to break it?" And she kind of like stops and turns around. She goes, "I'm sorry. Break what?" Now, I would say Thea pulls out her mask, but I know for a fact that she's left it in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she pulls out her bad legs. <laughs> um, I was just going to say, like, I mean, there is maybe a bit of like a red like glow maybe like starting around her fist. Um, and uh, yeah, I think she's visibly teared up. She's just like, why did you have to break it? And she um she looks at you and like cocks her head to the side and kind of stops doing whatever it was she was doing with some kind of you know weird concoction. And she kind of walks kind of like halfway back towards you and she's like, "Break what?" And some of the kind of like you know levity has left her. Can I punch her in the dick? <laughs> there are many um... things wrong with that statement. What, sorry? I was going to say, uh, is it possible to... Can I just disguise self of my expressionless mask on my face? Yeah, you can be yourself. And then the morph mask. it into the broken one. Yeah. That's something I can do. Yeah, I think it's just cool. like you, you cast it twice, essentially. Yeah. Cool. That's fine, I can do that for free anyway. For an action each time, yes. Um, no, I will. Yes. 
but as an action. Oh, yeah, but I have to cast. I have to cast the actual spell. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Because it's sorry. An action of casting <laughs> a spell. Yes, that's true. Yeah. So yeah, that, that twice the action thing, but yeah. Yeah, and she kind of like looks you over, and she goes, "My dear, if you broke your mask, that's not my problem. Would you like me to fix it for you?" I know it was you. And she, then I think maybe, looks maybe... Like, like she looks like she's like you've told her a joke almost, um, but she's not laughing audibly. Um, she just kind of like as if she's about to laugh, and then she's like, "My dear." If I needed to lie to you, I probably wouldn't be in such a good mood. I think, if if I may, Mister G, I don't know. Um, <laughs> cast disguise self again. Um. Uh, she would, if if I can, um, become the old lady with the teeth, mm-hmm. and just say. Changing a face isn't hard, ma'am. Ooh. And she like leans in, you know, kind of like almost comic book esque, you know, and that kind of, you know, to try and take in this old lady's kind of appearance. And uh, she like straightens back up and she goes, I mean, am I supposed to be impressed you can? disguise yourself in such a manner and she kind of like gestures vaguely to where like Gus was standing and she kind of just looks like she's you know full shocked she looks like she's full shocked no full (laughs) shocked as in not shocked she's pretending she's like oh you know like you've disguised yourself this is impressive somehow when I was two people a moment ago, you know, been flippant. Yeah, um, she's stand there as if she doesn't like you know. She's not connecting the dots. Thea is implying, and I don't know what everybody else thinks because Thea's just turned into this crazy old lady. Well, I would like to point out. Well, I dare would like to say, do you deny that this old lady was not you earlier today, and you make our friend cry because she break mask because you head butter looking like this. Do you know all that? Wasn't I there? Um, not for the what I think what um, Lauda and um, Adir would have known is what she said in the pub when they yeah, find her yeah, after. Yeah. And I think I basically remember... what she said was her and this, her and her city w- will burn or something ridiculous like that, and she will pay. Like ah! you know nothing about an old woman that headbutted Thea. Is what I'm saying. Other than being um, the, what she said in the at dinner, I guess. Mm-hmm. So she was paying attention. As opposed to trying to steal yeah. cutlery. Yeah. That was a that was a dinner, the tavern when we were having my one glass of Chardonnay. Uh, no, like he was very upset. No, so I'm we, saying we, I, the only time I was going to say sorry. So let's one, let's stop this today, so yeah. Gregor. Uh, the conversation, the parts you know, have been pieced together from those two events, though. Fair enough. One of the, which mm-hmm. you might have been slightly distracted at, where she said she described an old woman with jeweled teeth that had attacked her. Yous didn't necessarily make a connection other than the teeth, because it was a very young woman Yous met with jeweled teeth. Then mm-hmm. Thea never told anybody about the old woman with jeweled teeth up until that exact moment. Fair enough. At dinner. Yeah, so the tavern was just her saying it got broke and her and her city will burn. Uh, mm-hmm. There we go. Cool. Back in the scene. <laughs> so what does Adair now <laughs> say instead? Um, actually, I just looked at Adair's intelligence. He's saying nothing right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, keep in mind, like Thea is now making a small, not scene, but she's obviously trying to make a point as this old woman mm-hmm. nobody recognises. I'd ask Thea, Thea, why have you changed to this appearance? This is not her. You are not her. <sighs> and I think Just... um, Cynthia, like, as, as Thea's about to, like, like maybe she sighs, and then like, Cynthia kind of turns to a uh, and says, I'm sure you sounded different before. 
Yeah, I'm having a strange day. I don't know why, but my head has been hurting until you give me drink, but it's still something does not feel right, and I'm aware I do not sound right anymore. Now that's interesting. I keep saying words that I know are correct, but also incorrect. Hmm. And then she like turns back to like old lady Thea. Oh, sorry, I muted. <laughs> <laughs> and she like raises her eyebrows as if like, is there any more to this bizarre story? And then she says, um, "Did you perhaps?" break your own mask while disguised? Did you frighten yourself? Oh, I wish I could just mind link. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold the vault. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's just telepathic ass rubbish. Um, it's not that rubbish, it's pretty damn good. I mean, it's not yeah. rubbish, it's pretty baller, but <laughs> it's not what I want. Um, it's not zig levels of mind trauma. Yeah. I think, yeah, she um, just says, well, if this, and then motioning to, you know, her face, wasn't you smiling with the mm -hmm. the, the gemmed teeth and um, turning back into herself, just says, then who? Clearly, you have the same dentist. I think, like when you were <laughs> smiling with the teeth, I am. Um, I think she like had opened like her lower lip and started like poke at her own teeth, as if like looking at that and trying to feel them. I am um, mm -hmm. obviously in her own mouth. I am. Um, like kind of like. Like you could probably imagine she's pretty curious, right? I am. Um, and she goes, "Huh? Well, ain't that something else?" kind of cocks her head to the side a little bit and she looks at you and she goes is this why you're so upset because some old lady with similar teeth broke a mask don't you have I'm the, and she says like so don't you have the will to fix this yourself you clearly can take forms you choose i really don't like this woman hmm. i think thea says um <clears throat> Well, someone strong enough to break my mask and vanish without a trace while claiming this city has her own. I feel... Wait, no, that's, that's not worded very well. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think she would say, uh, yeah, um, someone strong enough to break my mask, vanish without a trace. She claims the city is her own. Forgive me if I seem to be jumping to conclusions and emotions to, you know, her. I think she, um, she, she's just kind of like passively smiling as you like explain all that. And she says... My dear, if I were to lay claim to anything, it would be my country. Valeria is mine. Not just one city. She like shakes her head kind of very gently. Her hair kind of like falls over her shoulders and stuff. Someone's got a god complex. Does Alvin say this? No. <laughs> Keep it in character, then, Scott. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um. Jeez, um, oh, Like, I really don't know how I want this. Like, how I want this to go down, but I really want somebody to just be like, "Okay, fight time." No. <laughs> I think a dare would speak up and be, but if your son rules. Do you not rule with your son? Wouldn't that be awfully awkward? Yeah, it's your family. She just kind of grins. 
That's it. Just, just a kind of creepy grin. Flea bite's still the, eating because uh, it's maybe probably oh. three quarters of the way through whatever was on the table if he's just kept eating. <laughs> good. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Theo leaves the room. Yeah. Goes, so you just uh, goes through to the bedroom. I was going to say, so, like, you just take, so you turn to leave the room. Yes, he turns to leave the room. Can you make a wisdom saving throw? Which ah, is probably gonna be, it's probably going to be completely fine. Sure. Yeah, I thought you had a thing for that. <laughs> Is this to see if you're wise enough to leave leave the room? How well, like, do you roll go? again? Because remember, you do get advantage on this, so you you may as well. Oh yeah. Oof. Cool. Yeah, you can't move. With a twenty-one, and he can't move. She can't move. Correct. Uh, you turn on the, you turn on the spot. And then you just stand there. What's the lady doing? Nothing. She's just kind of smiling at you. Uh, um, seriously, what's with the teeth? Yeah, Thea just um, shouts at her. You can't. Uh, I, for the sake of conditions, right? let's see what you are able to do. Because you are, yep. So you're paralyzed, which means you are incapacitated and can't move or speak. Attack rolls okay. against you have advantage. And uh, what else is there? Any attack that hits you is a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet of you, and you automatically fail strength and dex saving throws. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So, so see to us watching this. Does it just look like Thea's turned her back on this woman? Yeah, and has just stood still. Right. So we might not be aware that she's actually correct, and she is just standing like. Can uh, I very still <laughs> move my eyes and like stare like um, meaningfully at somebody? And you facing <laughs> away from us? No, she turned away from the woman, so she'd technically be facing the group. But I'll be honest, I don't think you can. I think you're just like, for lack of a better term, frozen. Oh, your internally screaming. So mm. Yeah. Probably trying to externally scream really loudly, to be honest. Um, um yeah. I think like in her mind she has like, you know, summoning her acts of chaos and trashing the place and it's just playing over her mind over and over and over again and you know, lying over the burning body of this woman both in her form and in like old lady witch form. Would any of us perceive the fact that she is standing strangely? Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's Thea. As I say, Thea out of everybody probably has stood stoically still the most, but... Mm -hmm. Don't know. It's... A perception check? Mm. Or passive. <laughs> mm. I just think it's a weird thing to want to do, given that they've had some weird standoffish moments, right, already. I'd say maybe if like you know a lot of time passes and she still hasn't moved a muscle, then maybe, yeah. But I think for now, no. Yeah, that's fair. I think she just um, kind of smiles. She goes, "Yes, my teeth. You seem ever so focused on the fact that I like pretty gems." I mean, who does not like pretty gems? But I've never seen someone keep pretty gems in their mouth, unless is thief trying to swallow. Interesting. Do you know a lot about thieving? Not mm, so much, but, uh, well, I might know some things from past, but... Uh, These things you've picked I'm up along the way, yeah? She just smirks. Yes. You know how it is in cities and towns. Do I and know? Are you implying I, I would... steal things? Yes, but you clearly are wise. Oh, no. Unwarranted compliments. You think yourself somewhat of a charmer, do you? Hmm. I am but a man who likes to talk. Are you now? But a man, Normally. that is. Hmm? 
she just says like you know her implication is that but are you now but a man is her lasting kind of implication of I think you're more than that but yeah sure um, well things have certainly been strange the past hour or so my by the way once voice... a minute passes um, see how you can move mm -hmm. again okay um, I think like it's probably like a bit of a shock um, because I think she's like continuously trying to move so what, it's like you know when you pick up a bottle you expect mm -hmm. to be heavy I think I think she does yeah. that and just kind of maybe just flies out the room. <laughs> Straight to a wall. Ah! No, she does. She just charges out of the room, um, goes through to the bedroom, summons her axe, and starts fucking shit up. Yeah. And she puts on her um, formerly expressionless mask in the room as well. And uh... the the sound of that probably makes flea bites shine faster. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do you do you want me to like, actually like attack rolls the furniture or just why not? Why don't you just give oh, me five okay. attack rolls? Okie dokie. Uh... We'll see how much you piss off the king. One, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Clearly, what happens is you start off really angry, and then it goes obviously as well as most angry people trashing things go. And they obviously mess up and stub your yeah, gets stuck. Yeah, and then yeah. Uh, that takes you a bit of time to build momentum up again, <laughs> out of frustration. Um, what's everybody else doing in the uh, the kitchen then, besides Fleabite shoving food in his face? Um, to the point where it's probably getting difficult to do this now, Fleabite. Like, you know, you are. I mean, he's gonna make himself sick at some point. Yeah, exactly. But I don't think that's his problem. Like, <laughs> oh, on it. Like, I think I'd just be trying to calm down fear. You just, just be, neither of them. So do you yeah, like, do you also Yeah, have... I mean, like, yeah, so, so, I'd leave, so I'd leave up, turn to leave after fear. Mm -hmm. And just leave the room. Okay, cool. I'm waiting on you going, like, right, roll wisdom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just, you, you I'll just kind of, like, Jump down and kind of run after Thea and like go into the room and I'll be like, Thea, please, you need to relax. Your anger is not towards the chairs. As she like raises her axe from like a, you know, like the, the, the leg of the, the, the bed or whatever. Um, and I think she just looks at Alvin and um, Maybe just drops to her knees, the axe dissipates, and she just cries again. I just kind of like walk over and just be like, pat, pat on her, like on your shoulder, and be like, um, um, this woman, she... this sorry, woman yeah. broke, sorry, um, like a, like pat, pat, and be like, so this woman broke your mask. And she looks up at him wearing the mask. <laughs> <laughs> with the big crack down from the forehead and then, you know, her <laughs> horrifically carved smile on one side and frown on the other side. If you want, I could try and fix it. It's not the same. Ah, but sometimes change can be a good thing. I think she does. She sits in silence there and kind of tries to register the words. Um, and she... Yeah, she stands up and just takes a deep breath. And then... I don't know, like, maybe kicks a chair. Alvin just kind of, like, jumps back a wee bit as is like, yep, that's getting involved in that one. And then after she, like, kicks the chair, like, a couple times, I think she just, like, sighs and goes, okay. Oh, okay. 
and she was about to say happy face um but then she um maybe she puts her hand in like the bag for like the happy face forgetting she doesn't have one mm-hmm. and then just groans um maybe just shouts out and goes Fucking... ah! <sighs> and she takes her mask off and just sits on the floor staring like i think she takes all her masks out and just sits and stares at them Mm. Yeah, but Alvin just kind of like nudge, nudges up ever so slightly and just like like reaches out for the cracked mask and be like I'll, I'll just take that just now but while I make while I have a look at this is there any other masks you want you, you would want I think she looks up at Alvin, she's got this like big like sort of nutty grin on her face. And just points at her like ridiculously over the top smile. I'll Cocks just, her head to one side. I'll just be like, hmm. I get what, I th- I think I know what you mean. Consider it done. Put your face on some plaster to take a mold of it. <laughs> um, I just kind of like after that, I'll kind of like slowly back out the room and. Well, like, while you're having that conversation, um, <laughs> what's like, a dare in Fleabite doing in the room with, you know, pseudo Cynthia? Well, it depends like... on how much food's left. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, there's probably about a quarter, maybe less, left, and you're um. Probably pretty damn ill, right? Now, is Fleabite the kind of guy that would be sick and then try and eat his sick? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I even knew the answer before I asked the question. I mean, he would eat the regular food first and then go to the sick. Right. That's, that's gross. <laughs> it's quite Greek of him. It's just gross. <laughs> it's just Fleabite. Um, but yeah, do you want to give me a wee con save and we'll see how your stomach's holding up? You're pretty good at con saves. Are you allowed to use inspiration on con- on saving throws? Uh, yeah. Let's say you maybe need a 15. <gasps> oh. oh, serious? Jesus. So you throw up. But maybe you throw up in your mouth. So you can let it all come out or you can just swallow, swallow it back it. down. This is horrible, by the way. Sorry if you're listening. <laughs> just in general, actually. Sorry to be listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alexander, what do you make Fleabite do? Yeah. Um, he... It, I think it all comes up and out. Do you look to the side of the table to do this? Or under the table? On the food he intends to eat? <laughs> or on the table? I, hate how I think it's it. on the table. Yep, it's on the table. Ah. <laughs> God, <you're so laughs> no, no, it was a 14. I think that's going to be my, my decision though. He... Is fourteen. He did throw up, but it didn't go everywhere. Right. I think, I think that's how I'm going to interpret that. I'll put it in the jar. So, he was eating the honey from. And um, yeah, so you like, you kind of like fight it back. Then is what you're saying. As in, like you, you throw up in your mouth, but you don't let it go everywhere. No, he throws up on the floor. Right. Okay. Cool. Like you kind of lean down, you throw up. Obviously, it's very horrible and visceral. And um, when you look back up, um, and Adair, you've seen her do this, uh, the entire table's full of food again. So she... Just waved her hand creepy. and food appeared. Yeah. I can't are, you yes, yes. are you sure this is a good idea? You have seen how sick he has gotten from trying to eat as much as he can. And yet, I mean, we... his appetite remains. And she just kind of smiles at you. 
Uh, that is true. He does like food. Apparently, he grew up with a lot of brothers and sisters. How interesting. Yeah. In, in, like, yeah. Where there was food, like, still stuffing, not trying to slow down at all. Mm -hmm. uh, just start to say, the process like, again. Yeah, exactly. Um, but also, like, through that, you probably make some comment about. Um, no brothers and sisters, just more craven this shit. You understood, that? Huh? She just kind of shrugs and smiles at you. <laughs> so, might ask, you, your son, he, we, you came up in conversation at dinner, but your son, he claim you are not around, I believe. She looks down at herself and then back up at you. Do I look round? He's not sorry. She just she just grins nice. and kind of laughs, and she waves her hand you at you. And she's like, "I'm teasing, of course." You play on words. Ah, nice. She shrugs, you know, like fake, like ah, you know, what's a girl to do? Uh, so why is your son not aware of you now? Perhaps you Did should you ask him this question. You're asking me a lot of questions about things only he might be able to answer you. But he does not speak for long, and he keeps kicking us out. Perhaps you should ask the right questions. What are the right questions? I mean, what do you wish to know of my son? Why he paints all his landscapes? She kind of like screws up her face and goes, Do you not like the landscapes of Valeria? He's nice. I just don't understand why he paints so much when he is the ruler of kingdom. I would think the ruler of kingdom does not have time to do painting. She kind of like screws up her face a bit as if she's thinking about that. And she's like, I imagine he's had quite some time, you know, between. And she like waves her hands, her fingers a bit in the air and goes, you know, ruling the kingdom. What do you mean? As Adair tilts his head to the side, kind of very confused. And she just, she's kind of like mouth agape a bit, looking at you and she's like, you know, he is just a man. You know that, right? Like he's, he's just, he's a man that takes time off like anybody else. You know? Oh, I, I did not think rulers have time for time off. But I guess it's advantage of being the ruler. You make the rules. <laughs> and she kind of just like shrugs to your kind of haha as well. Awkwardly. Um, like she's not really sure why like she had to go through that with you, but she's kind of, you know, being polite, I guess. Um, does Alvin, what, like, what was, what, Alvin today was trying to do something. What was your plan, Alvin, moments ago? I was just going to walk back into the... Yeah, maybe you walk into that, like with um, them both kind of awkwardly shrugging at each other and him laughing. Mm. Um, Elvin, how is Thea? You fucking cunt. Um, wow. <laughs> you ruined my... Again. <laughs> yeah, you ruined my plan. Um, I'll just be like, Thea um, needs a some time to cool off and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, she seemed quite worked up about some old woman, didn't she? The, she, she does this from time to time. No, <laughs> I'll just be like, I'll just like, drop. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, uh, the same big woman's good side. Yeah. <laughs> You're so lucky, Thea cannot hear you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll, I'll just kind of rub my chin for a wee bit and be like mm. to be fair though can Thea um, roll perception with disadvantage to see if she can hear that do you know what oh, I will I will just use inspiration <laughs> nah you're lucky you can't you're safe for now <laughs> oh imagine the thing is though it doesn't matter because if you used advantage it would still be the nine yeah, no, but yeah, I know, but like, no, if only I had advantage. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just be like rubbing my chin and then I'll be like, mm. I'm going to step out for a while. I need to think on things. And, uh, and yeah, Jasper I'll... said to him, you've hardly touched your food. Are you sure I can't tempt you to at least a bite more? I'm, and I, I, I just kind of like, l like look at my height and go, ah, good thing about being small, I guess. Don't need to eat that much. And they and I just uh, walk out. Okay. Uh, you head off. I is a flea bite doing yeah. anything else? Maybe besides looking defensive when she says, "Do you want any food?" <laughs> like you haven't touched a bite. You know, you haven't touch anything and then you obviously maybe get defensive over the fact that other people might be trying to eat the food. Uh, I, I don't think that would register. <laughs> <laughs> would he change his attitude considering that I assume he was eating out of the fear of the food vanishing? Yes, I, I think um, that was his major concern that he was going to lose out on all this food. And yes, he, he did, <laughs> but not for the reason he was afraid of. <laughs> um, and also, I think eating, having so much food available that he made himself sick is a very novel experience. And um, it's like, it's, it's like a bit thrown by that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So I think he would slow down on the eating and probably just like um, standing on the table, of course. Obviously. Like, um, just start eating at a normal rate the, the big like stack of pancakes. And, um, Adair, anything else you wish to? Um, I believe Adair would like to turn to the lady and just a I apologize, but what is correcting to address you as? What do you... What is the correct way for me to address you? Milady, or... How do you like to be addressed now? He just kind of smiles, like a big grin. And she's like... What would you like to call me? And she just like does that thing with the eyebrows again. Uh, Adair sort of tilts, uh, like, turns a wee bit like, ah, well, I think <laughs> there is few nice things I could call you, but uh, what do you wish me to call you? You assume I have any desires of you. And then she like winks at you. Ah, you do not break a man's heart quite so fast. No, I find breaking it slower to be far more enjoyable. I really think you and Thea could get on. You would think so, right? And she shrugs <laughs> in the room. Mm, and uh, mm. I think like we'll fade over to Alvin then, because it's a good scene to like leave that scene oh. on. And, uh, <laughs> Alvin, you head out the villa, I guess? Yeah, um, so I head out the villa and I sprint off back to the uh, castle to try and find the king. Cool. I remember there is a guard outside the, uh, the villa. Mm. Oh, right. Is there a guard still out? Right. Um, I'll turn to, like, I'll step outside and turn to the guard and go, Guard, I must speak with the king post haste. It is about who he's searching for. They are in the villa. Guard doesn't respond. I'll kind of like tap him on the head. How? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you tap him on the head? In Alvin's mind, he taps him on the head, but really he's like tapping him on the hip. Okay. Gravity so. ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you throw it up so that it pulls you up the way so you can tap him on the head while taking the damage. <laughs> yeah, that's how gravity works. I mean, it can be, I think. Yep. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so you, like, you tap it on like it's hip and yeah, there's nothing, there's just a cold clank of metal. And I just be like, hmm. Well, off I go then. And then I just start running towards the uh, castle. Yeah, and like you get to like the, you exit the grounds of the villa 
then a let's see I need to do a roll <laughs> no he's like um gnome sorry gnome man and you hear this like voice shout after you um I kind of like cartoon-esque use my heels to just kind of mm -hmm. stop and it's like kind of screech and I'm like who 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 called me and it, it's just Haranin right you recognize his voice um, and be like ah he just really badly failed his check to remember your name and then, uh, <laughs> well I I'm pretty sure me and we never actually got introduced yeah that's so, the thing is yeah. though, when MD talks to you they say Alvin just because it's the way you do things on Discord, right? So technically, you've been mentioned and spoke to. Um, yeah, I will be like, ah, the is human friend. Hi. And he goes, okay. Um, is Thea still awake? I was hoping to go in and see her again. And no. He, like, awkwardly moves his hands. I just uh, like kind of like grab his arm and kind of pull him down and he's like ah hoping to see her are you hey yeah and i'd just be like nudge nudge wink wink nudge nudge wink wink he's like uh, are you are you okay do you, do you want me to and then, carry then you? I can, then i kind of just like let go of his arm and go like look towards the villa and back to him and i'll be, and be like my boy, now would not be a good time. Uh, um, have you seen any of the guards about, actually? Um, no. Just the one, and he points at the one at the porch. That's like, you know, up the long path to the villa. And he's like, just the one at the, the, the villa, and, and then he points down the random direction towards the guardhouse. Hmm. And in the guardhouse? Why? Why? What's what's happened? Is, is, is Thea okay? And he like stands up almost to attention. I'd be like, she's Thea. And I'm just like, how do yeah, I answer? And it, like, he goes, yeah, I, I know. Is she okay though? And I just kind of look at him and go, I think she'd be better in the morning if you get what I mean. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And you, I'm like... Sorry, you took her mask, right? Yeah. Right, so like you're probably still holding that then, right? Because you've, you've not told me you're putting it away, so you've walked into the... Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess I haven't, yeah. So I think like, okay. he'll notice that, and he's like, Oh. That's Thea's. Um. And I'm like, Oh, yeah. And they're just like, Rummage it into my satchel. No, like, like before you put it away, she's like easily says him. Can I have that? I have I'm an like, idea that might cheer her up. They're like, mm, no, I'm fixing it for. Her. And then on and he that, like, he screws I'll up his face and he's like, "Yeah, that was my plan. I thought it'd be quite nice. It seemed she was annoyed it got broken." Hmm. Well, I have an errand to run. That's kinda important and you can see me kinda like shimmying towards the guardhouse and as I'm shimmying away I'm kinda like putting this in my bag and then I'm like but as soon as I'm done, why don't we work on it together? He's like No, it it wouldn't mean the same if it was from both of us. It's okay. I'll just I'll come back in the morning and he just turns and leaves. I'll be like Okay, bye! And then I just bolt towards the guardhouse because, really, I'm like, well, if he's not going to help, fuck off. <laughs> you literally cock-blocked him. It's not that he wasn't going to help. I totally did totally cock-block him, but at the same <laughs> time it's like, I, like I'm like i doing this for Thea, not you. Hmm. And, um, yeah, it's so you head off to the guardhouse, do you? Mm-hmm. Cool. And uh, I think... Um, as like we see like Haranin like kinda of turn and kinda of scuff his feet and like just walk away back the way he came. And then you're walking the opposite way towards the guardhouse. Um I think 
the camera just has like the kind of wind blowing this red mist that appears and coalesces as you know Cynthia and she just looks and she kind of like screws up her face a bit like hmm I wonder what he's up to and we we end the session just <gasps> from there what a spider dish face bitch man I can spider cut. face <laughs> I don't know you said red mist and for some reason I thought I thought spider man right yeah <laughs> obviously um, but on that note, what do you want to call the session? Um, oh, there was a good one. Um, was there? I'm like, was it? Stepping yeah, Haran. Stepping Haran. I like that. That was funny. Uh, the one I was going to put earlier um, was uh, King Interrupted, but then uh, it, it seemed less relevant as the session became more about, you know, Hilda and Gus. <laughs> uh, um, actually, um, there we go. With reservations is probably a good one because he's had dinner reservations and then they were put on hold because he had reservations about the fact that Sia <laughs> had revealed with us. Um, more just that Sia went your dead ma's headbutton folks by the way maybe you know not in so many words oh I was going to say Wayne <laughs> is that like mine because you can sing it if you want blood we got it <laughs> and else got any other suggestions um, it's really yeah, I've, 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 I've forgotten what it, I should have typed it as soon as I thought of it. So I'm pretty sure it's that, by the way. What happened to Gus? Yes, yes. <laughs> what happened to Gus? <laughs> yeah, he never spoke. He was <laughs> technically there, you know. <laughs> what happened to Gus? I mean, I don't know. I quite like that one as well, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna anyone go who that. actually listens to that name based on what happened to Gus will be like wait what did happen to Gus fucking nothing I was going to say yeah I quite like what happened to Gus not going to lie um, hey. I love how you voted for your own one Alvin like wind and dined just with the correct spelling I like it and you're allowed to like it I voted for mine um, I'm, I'm going to vote for mine right, so I don't have Gus. two I'm going to delete that one uh, there we go. Wait, what happened to Gus? Yep. It's, it's going to be oh, great well. because if um, Mangy listens to that, he's going to be like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> like, but what did happen to Gus? <laughs> um, okay, cool. Let's talk about goals. How well did we do this session, guys? Well, I um, do. Do you want to start, start us off with the goal you um, had in mind? So I did want to acquire an arcane focus. Um, I thought I could sneak a crystal, uh, or at least a, a knife or some sort of utensil with crystal in it uh, off the guards. Um, you know, I was trying, but mm -hmm. unfortunately the guards were frozen, so I was unable to achieve my goal this time, but I do feel it's still a good goal to stick to. Because I always have asked Cynthia, right? Thanks for cooking I mean, for I'm me so and awkward. taking all the insults, but also maybe you got any sweet sweet jewels? I'm <laughs> pretty I sure I, I was teeth? still talk. I was still talking to her and eyeing up her teeth, so I was figuring maybe slight a hand could be slight a tongue if oh I dear. get this. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, so you want to keep with the choir of focus? Go. Cool. Um, I do. Yes. Cool. Uh, um, Alvin. Yes. Cool. Uh, give me a give me a second. So I'm gonna still keep with that one just now. Um, okay. But I'm also gonna kind of put in my working on my working ones. Make happy mask for Thea. Okay. So what you're gonna trash the mask she's got, or make her a brand new mask? Because no, remember I said I was gonna repair that one, and then I also asked her it was like. Do you have a it like? Is there another another mask that you would like? I think manic would be the word then, not so much happy because it definitely came across as manic. 
Um, yeah, I'll just put make mask for the other now, and I'll <laughs> work out the emotion later. Okay. Can't believe you caught blocked Haranen trying to do a nice thing for Thea. That's because he was probably going to die. Not if you'd given him something <laughs> to go do during the night that isn't just worry about Thea. Yeah. I mean... You could have given him that project and he'd have been away, busy. Yeah, but if he ended up... Like, I don't know this guy's, you know, artistic skills. Um, you I know. think Alvin wants to date Thea himself. Yeah, so I think that's what it is. Alvin's blocked, obviously... Yeah, yeah, he's obviously oh. jealous. How romantic! <laughs> My real goal <laughs> is to get everyone in the world to want to date, you. Well, and to just turn into the most elaborate dating sim of all time. What do you mean turn into? Ho <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho! My plan revealed. Um, uh, wait, two seconds. Uh, what's the word? It's okay. I'll come back uh, to you. Cognac seems happy with his goal so far, and uh, flea bite. A bell. <laughs> um, <laughs> well timed. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I think I, I had a plan, and I might be able to do it, pull it off next time. So I'm going to stick with it for one more. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, Thea. Haranen incorporate into party. Mm. I mean, he was there. Um, but no, we'll we'll see. I might end up rewording it next week, but we'll see. I mean, as I mentioned, it kind of needs to be considered part of the party to be, yeah, you know, incorporated into the party, which means it would be assumed that he would go with you where the party went. And ideally, that if you know somebody in the party had asked for Thea's mask, it would maybe not have necessarily been too awkward, like um. Defense of Elvin, um, mm -hmm. but you know, that's sweet in its own way, you know. Mm. So, yeah, no, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, Elvin's it's actually. Okay. We'll, we'll come back to you. We'll come back to okay. you. So, the, uh, we're, we're gonna wrap up chat. It's fine because this is the goals chat. So you got? Oh uh, yeah. You happy to keep that going so far? I'm happy to keep it going for now. Yeah. Okay. Unless something pops into my brain over the week. Sure, sure, hmm. sure. And right, Alvin, back to you for the goal refinement. Oh yeah, no, it wasn't to refine the gold. I was no, just going to say, <laughs> are you happy um, with the gold as is, or are you going to change it? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still going to leave it as is the now. Okay. Um, because I mean, at no point did you ask her though, right? Yeah, I was going to before. I was like, I don't know. I got a wee bit sidetracked, and I was like, right, I'd rather what ask the king about him, and then I could ask her about him, but no, I'm just. Yeah, I'm going to leave it for next session. So you're going to get the back to dinner with the king, and you're going to say, who's your dad? And he's going to be like, sorry, we'll read check again. Yep, um, I'm hoping it'll work out. Interesting. Does he guard statues? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but his guards sometimes are statues, I guess. Um, so, yeah, cool. I guess that's goals completed for now. And... Let's talk about bonds. We don't own that. That was James Bond, though, right? We don't own any of that. Nope. Nope. No, no, it wasn't. It was um, Blaine Badondi theme. Yes. The Blaine Badondi theme. Bond Dondi. Bond Dondi. <laughs> bell, 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 James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Adair, bonds, anything come up for you? Um, well, let me just double check. So, Alvin want to help uh, Alvin's ability to focus on tasks at hand. Definitely didn't come up. Uh, Obviously, Cognac, Cognac can skip because it never came up. Can skip. Fleabite, help Fleabite was gambling and snorting a shoot. Today was gluttony, so I feel like I should maybe add gluttony issue. So, no, because he, he did snort that drink and... There was no interaction from you and him, so I'd say it's I, possibly I still in play, or you could change it. I'll keep that in play. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. Whereas Thea, I was wanting to help Thea repair her mask, but she's taken. That seems to be a big uh, team effort, measures. apparently. Yeah. Yeah. So I've taken that off for now, but I can't think of anything else to put. Just in steal one of her other masks, woman. break it, reveal it to her, say <laughs> so you found this, then go repair that one. 
I feel she would know <laughs> kill me. Yeah, it could be survive repairing Thea's. <laughs> um, I feel like I should help her with her anger somehow, but I'm definitely not a counsellor. Yeah. I mean, also flirting with the woman she's pissed off, that's maybe not the best strategy for that. She yeah. doesn't know that's happening, so it's fine. <laughs> that's true. That's true. They'd roll a nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, I, anything I you've got... Um, like, um, does, I don't know, like, Thea, you get any suggestions for what, like, based on how he's interacted with you? Because uh, keep in mind, it's not Thea's viewpoint we care about. This is, like, the bonds are purely from the character's point of view. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how... Um, I think help Thea find some kind of peace isn't yeah. the worst idea. Because she's obviously upset help Mm -hmm. Thea find time to spend with her new man. Yeah, that could be something. I mean, it sounds more like a goal, but it definitely sounds like um, something you could bond with. Like, you could definitely say you would like her to be, you know, him and her. Happy. Yeah. I I feel she needs to wear the happy mask that she doesn't have yet. Yeah. I want her to acquire the happy mask because she's happy in life. I have no idea how I'm going to word that. That's fine, yeah. yeah. We'll, We'll see how it happens. I'll move on in the meantime. Alvin... Bonds. Um. Well, first of all, I've, I've changed the one for Thea, so I've changed it to th- seeing Thea in pain. I'm, I'm wanting to use my craft to improve her mood, and by that I mean I'm going to use my craft to help fix up her mask and make her a new one, okay. and be like, here you go. Um. But also, being from an unknown realm, I'm fascinated by a chance of a new world to explore for flea bite. Um. Yeah, I kind of feel that was came up when I was talking to him about it, and okay. Do you feel like though the the fascination for you wanting to explore it is done though? Um, I kind of want to leave it for now, um, because okay. I feel like I could. Uh, I feel like there's more I want to go into on it. Okay, yeah. Like as soon as you feel like that's like been as a conversation and like interaction with the way it's explored if you changed it though like it is definitely worth inspiration if you changed it and updated it to reflect what you have done yeah because she's both definitely had what would be considered an actual conversation yeah I think that's why because mm-hmm. it's my first mm-hmm. like our first actual conversation I kind of want to make it more yeah I think you should refine it because I feel like like you at least mm-hmm. broached that because um, I mean it could be something about getting flea bite on board with you visiting his world yeah 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 but then again like me knowing this for a fact that it's unlikely flea will ever get back to his world right so yeah that's a thing so you might want to reword that then what are you thinking i'll have a thing on it for next week but it's now that's the now we do this. That's why we do it now. Because um, bonds are at the end, based on what we did. We don't do them at the start. Yeah, I ain't getting him to... Open up more about his homeworld or something? Yeah. Um, talk about the different races of his homeworld. But you don't know that there are different races from his homeworld, right? Or, I guess. Or, okay, right. Find out more of who inhabits yeah uh, the pla- uh, his world so the bond would be get flea bite to open up more about his world yeah there you go okay cool campfire stories yeah and obviously cognax happy with bonds flea bite <laughs> yeah so um i didn't manage to do anything with a bear. Um, I, th- I think... Should I race to see who drank the drink first? <sighs> I, I did think of trying to challenge him to eat, but mm. I, I kind of... Um, a, I knew as Alexandra that that probably wouldn't happen. And also I sort of didn't want to slow down Fleabite that long <laughs> in trying to have that conversation. Mm-hmm. Also, is Fleabite someone that would share food that much? 
because by challenging me to eat at the same time... Exactly, then Fleabag yeah. wouldn't be able to eat it. <laughs> Um, I think his one was Alvin, um, it, um, I don't think it's it, it relevant sort of because you kind of, opposite. yeah, I was going to say, you gave him yeah, your work I, I had that, tr that moment of, um, like, trust. almost trust yeah. when I handed him what wasn't actually what I was doing, but what in his mind might be. Mm -hmm. So, well, I don't think it was fulfilled, I think it needs a dated. Yeah, I would say you can definitely like make it more relevant. Yeah, but I don't like that. Definitely wasn't like yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, and um, I'd hoped to try and um, goad Thea into into a fight, but she left before the food was over. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, see <laughs> uh, ya. Um. I'm trying to think of like. Uh, I want to I want to keep what I've got for Alvin, but I feel Let's like I want with, to so like I take it a dare didn't come up then. Is, that, is this how we're working through it in order? Uh, yeah. Right. Um. Cool. I mean. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I suppose I didn't actually hear him say the things that he said. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did I say? I didn't say anything. Yeah, I didn't say anything. Um, no, I'm going to stick and it is, gets weirder by the day at the end of that. Cool. Alright, but with Alvin. Alvin, um, there. Dangerous chaotic tendencies are fascinating and has potential to become a perfect disciple of chaos. I don't think that aspect like actually came up at all, but because it was our first sort of chat chat at all, it was more of a calming force than a chaos force. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of how to reword this. I mean, what does that like? Okay, so you obviously thought at one point he would have been a good chaos disciple, right? And that might mm -hmm. have been a year ago when he killed students, but oh yeah, yeah. Now, if you don't think that, what do you think about Alvin? If not that, like if we had to ask Thea in an interview to describe her teammate Alvin, um, Alvin, he's a no. Artificer. Um, <laughs> and you let yep. him take one of your masks. So that's a thing. He did take one of my masks, actually. Uh, I'm writing that down. Um, so you trust them? Took one of my masks. The impression I got was she wasn't fighting it. Is more. It wasn't so much. Yeah, it wasn't like a, I okayed this. It was a, I'm not putting up like a fight at all. Yeah, like almost like you were um, still defeated. Yeah. Um, and uh, oh, I'll save that for the wrap-up chat actually um, yeah. uh, took one of my masks I pray he can be trusted to not I sure hope he doesn't cut block me with her running <laughs> <laughs> uh, took one of my masks I pray he can be trusted to not cause me further pain uh, flea bite. He... Flea bite is heading for a smack. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what that was for. Um, flea bite was mocking you about losing the mask. <laughs> That's the right. That's right. Yep. Flea bite's heading for a smack. Also, if you didn't mark inspiration for the Alvin one, because like that has evolved naturally, right? Like that did kind of come yeah. up. You know. I'll unmark my inspiration so I can mark it again. Good. It's so meaningful. I feel like it is. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. I don't think. Well, I was gonna say I don't think anything else came up. I mean, I just mean for, so. I just mean for flea bite. So still heading for a smack. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, that's Bones done. Right. Excellent. Unless MDL has any last minute bondage to discuss. And um, <laughs> just my wow. change with Alvin. Yep. Is that thing? Duh, tell us it. So I think that the the half thing might be able to help Fleabite with his general goal of maybe opening way between the worlds again. Sure, yeah. And I well, I, I tried to be that as like open ended that, you know, learning more about it. Because I obviously know he's not going to succeed, but just through discussion of the Yeah, but like these aren't like these aren't like um set in stone, these things. These are more this is what people can assume your attitude to them is, right? It's not a a goal as such, but it's more of a guide for us, again, roleplay wise. So this is like us taking stock of, you know, what do you think of him? The Big Brother House Diary room moments, you know? So don't worry too much about treating these like goals. These are just directions, as it were. But I think that's good. Um, but yes, let us discuss then the wrap up of chat. And let's just start with Fleabite, who spoke a lot this time, which was a nice change. <laughs> I know it breaks. Yeah, no, I almost thought that was going to be Flea Bite that spoke a lot. Let's have less of that next time. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that was good. Um, I enjoyed the like the pre-dinner part. Mm. Um, with that sort of uh, just casual, like there was no um, like expectation. It was just us like sitting there waiting, which I always like that sort of scene. Yeah, the kind of the preamble of, alright, let's just, just be social and talk to each other. Yeah, and, yeah. exactly. <laughs> While the GM builds the world around us. Um, I, yeah, I like that. And then the, the getting back to the place. And as soon as we didn't go on break, like, a couple minutes early, and I was like, oh, Ryan's gonna do a, um, uh, a cliffhanger, it's totally good that the people are going to be <laughs> pseudo Cynthia. So. I feel very attacked right now, I dare you. Um, and I. Yeah, I I hope that um, he, he might have the, the opportunity to, um, to, to keep going. Uh, yeah, I, I guess actually in that these last two two sessions with um, Fleabite sort of understanding how things are different in this world, that he's come from this like um, you know I think eleven out of his current fourteen years of life have been spent in a state of near constant brink of starvation, and to now be in a different world where food, like even though this isn't the norm, there is a chance that food can be plentiful enough to make himself sick is quite like mm -hmm. a revelation about his plans and conceptions about worlds and uh, so does that mean that Fleabot has specific opinions about Cynthia he that he might not share with the rest of the group and I don't mean that he doesn't share them he just they're not in sync with the rest of the group because of that reason <laughs> I don't know if he necessarily ties it to her um, I think it's more just the the, the possibility of that in the world. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that like other people were like, oh, he ate so much, he was sick, that's that's a normal thing that can happen. I think. So, so maybe not specifically about her. Okay. Anything else you like that? Um, I liked the, uh, I think, Alvin and I's um, conversation um, it was like it's, it's good just having a normal conversation <laughs> whatever those are and I know <laughs> um, uh, for me that's the sort of um, relaxed um, trying to it's obviously like what I'm usually trying to do flea bite it's that sort of broken language mm -hmm. and then somewhat relaxing that for those sort of conversations which is Thank you. See you. Great session. Thanks. You're welcome. Alvin? 
Yes. You know. Um. Yeah, I. I like the part where um, it's like. Uh, thingy was like, okay, we need to like, I need to call this dinner short. And then it's just like, all right, okay, fine, bye. And then it's like, we go down and then it's like, oh, look, the person you were looking for is right here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like that I actually managed to also like talk to different party members and stuff that I've probably not really managed to talk to a lot before. Yeah, like the aforementioned flea bite conversation. That was quite good to actually maybe start learning a bit more about these slightly more abstract team members. Yeah, so, yeah, slowly but surely, kind of working my way into it. I thank God that invasion isn't here, that's all I can see, because, oof. Mm. But then you can maybe see why the invasion just overlooked this place if this is what happens in a day here. You know? Kind of busy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, no. All in all, I had I had fun. Um, I liked the part where uh, Thea was gonna headbutt. Um, what's her face? Cynthia. Um, yeah, Cynthia. Um, yeah, I had I, I had fun basically, and yeah, and I love you. Thank you. That's always appreciated. And then, a dear. Um, yep, yeah, uh, great as always. Uh, I'm glad Adair. Um, well, I'm glad I was able to introduce an accent for Adair. Mm -hmm. um, a strange language and accent that's going to be coming through. Um, I'm amazed the group never really asked about that. Uh, but yeah, fair enough. Um, I didn't know if it was a uh, um, something that we should ask about. I was just like. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I was I was unsure if this was supposed to be like um part of like oh this is like a developing part of like your character growth or if it's just always been there and you're just introducing it now. And I was like, hmm, Polly, ask that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Cynthia had just covered. Yeah, mm. thanks. Um, Cynthia. No, it was good. <laughs> um, I love the aspect. We've been waiting so long to finally have dinner with Richter, and it lasted the grand total of here's a glass of wine, piss off. Also, blood. <laughs> here's a glass of something's blood. Aye. Poor thing. And can I say, I'm glad I offered the chance to go to the butchers with Fleabite and actually try mm -hmm. and acquire the blood he likes. And I feel like he didn't pay attention to that, like, he didn't care. I was trying to be nice to Fleabite. <laughs> He wants to know what the blood was he had now. <laughs> That's future flea bites problems. <laughs> <laughs> New goal: discover what the blood was. Mm. Uh, but no, all in all, great game. Uh, yeah, having fun, enjoying it. I do love just on that note that the uh, like since session four, basically, like maybe session five, really, but like you've sort of had dinner plans for like five sessions and then oh, lasts yeah. like all of like five minutes with Richter. I know, <laughs> that's what was amazing. <laughs> when you write this, it's like, okay, they go for dinner, then they do that, and that'll be done. So that's season, th that's episode three, cool, and we've stretched it into ten. It's just the fact that I think I spent more time building the room than you just had dinner with it for. So, uh, oh yeah. god, I love the aspect you actually did that. You mm -hmm. put effort into that, because we're going to be here. Okay. No, no, we're not. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> This is just this is just a summary of what it is to be a GM, really. Um, uh, yeah. Last but not least, then, if there is nothing else from a deer. Uh, no, that's me. Um, See as always, good game. Thank you. Oh, you're more than welcome. Yes, of course, of course, of course. Yeah. I had a lot of fun. That was really good. Um, good. I definitely, I'm, I'm definitely very tired now, so I'm, um, I might have been a bit. Uh, slow at the end there but um i really really wanted to headbutt mm. pseudo cynthia i really did i was tempted to do it as well i'm looking for an arcane but, focus her teeth um, 
I tried to I tried to like do that in a way where it's like Thea was going to and then kind of um maybe cooled down as she was getting closer or something. Mm. But um because I feel like somebody who can be two people and then turn into one person mm. probably could take me. Probably. Just on like a magical stuff level. Mm. I mean, she fools you instantly. Uh, yeah, and well, that might have been the food. I'm just, just saying. Um, poisoned food. Ranim was lovely. Um, Thank you. Very wholesome. He's all right, isn't he? He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Poor boy. Poor boy. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed um, trashing a room as well. That was fun. Mm. Watching the world be created uh, as we're sitting in, you know, the sort of um, the loading, the, the loading bay. Oh, my my uh, elite, uh, the, skills at World Twenty, yeah. <laughs> had a, had a very of like we walk into like you know the like white space gridded room thing that doesn't exist, and then as you sit down, like the chairs just sort of flickers into mm. existence. Yeah, um, it's like a dodgy holodeck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it was just it was just really fun, and it was nice to get like chat amongst ourselves as like a. I know we're not a whole party, but, um, not on like you know Alvin in a different place and uh, in a different place and splitting the party is nice to be together. Mm-hmm. It definitely was. Long I think may well. it Indeed, at least this way, like <laughs> Cognac didn't necessarily miss out on too much, right? Um, given how dinner actually went. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, Pseudo Cynthia is a bit of a bitch. You think? What's that? Um, <laughs> she's just oh, oh. I actually, she's lovely. Oh. She's just so friendly. I did. She's a straight up bad person. She is. She won bad bitch. Um and Dater's having a great time with it. <laughs> oh, oh. He might be heading for a smack too. Um There's um I really like that I... that whole scene of like Alvin just taking Dia's mask away. Um mm-hmm. and her kind of sitting there and he's like, Oh, is there anything else you want? And then her kind of just pointing at her yeah, expression. face. Whatever expression that was, um, I I don't I still haven't figured out what she means by that. <laughs> um, I don't know if that means she wants another mask because I don't know if she does because she wants her happy mask, mm-hmm. um, which she just doesn't have. Um, but uh, the fact that he said, um, you know, change is good or whatever. I don't know how Thea feels about that, you know? Mm. Um, Although, yes, like, chaos and everything is, you know, ever-changing, but it's, like, it's, like, unpredictable change. But when things are changing at, like, a a pace that's, like, things are just changing and I know they're changing is kind of, like, a bit um, maybe unsettling Mm. in some regard. Um. So yeah, she's she's in a weird place just now, but I like it. Good. I'm glad you're liking it. Um, um and how you like that? Um no, thank you for running. It was really fun. Really, 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 really fun. You did a marvellous job, as thank always. You. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. I feel like a very buttered piece of bread now. I, uh, glorious. It is glorious. I want toast, man. Um well Haran and wrap up chat, you know. Um, <laughs> he liked the bit where he got to spend time with Thea um, he didn't like the bit when she got upset about things he didn't understand um, it was a bit awkward with the king um, and he really doesn't like this gnome for some reason I know right I can't think why yeah it feels like the gnome doesn't like him so in my notes from last time I have a bullet point Thea's voice has inspiration I, I have that on my notes as well um, but part of members don't roll persuasion against each other, sadly. 
um, which is obviously <laughs> going to be retconned in the future, probably in the heartbeat. But like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I felt like uh, he wasn't prepared to fight the gnome on the street for the mask. Quite frankly, oh, I Give would it wreck. To me. I would wreck the bitch. I mean, you don't know what, he is. what if he just summons horses that fall on you? Yeah, man. That's a thing. He just whistles and he <laughs> comes a charging out. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, horse mansory. Yes. Oh god. It reminds me of a joke called Wall of Horse, which is a horrible spell. Um, anyway, um, thank you everybody for playing. That was uh, glorious, actually. I'm glad dinner was out great. Today. Um, so, moving swiftly on, that is the conclusion of what happened to Gus. Apparently. <laughs> uh, I'll catch you all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.